Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the of Scott Selections here for Saturday, May 8th. For you in today's play of the day, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up picking up a push with the Trailblazers minus 5 and minus 110 on FanDuel. Pretty annoying. We'll ended up climbing to around 7 or 7.5. Uh, Portland was up 7 with about 5 seconds to go. Lakers missed a 3, got the offensive rebound. Kuzma ended up hitting, I believe, a layup or something. And the Trailblazers won by exactly 5. So a push is better than a loss, but those are pretty unfortunate, especially when you're one rebound away from cashing. But it happens. We'll look for a winner here on Saturday. And for the play of the day, we're going to be looking at the NBA once again. It's going to be a matchup between the Washington Wizards and the Indiana Pacers, taking place at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play of the day, we're looking at the total in this one. And with the Wizards and Pacers being involved, I'm sure you know where we're going this one. Uh, we like the over. And the best line currently available is 246.5 at minus 118 on Fox Bet. Time recording of 3 a.m. Eastern time. The cover is why I like the over in the spot. First of all, you look at Washington, each of its last four games have gone over. You look at Indiana, six of its last seven games have gone over. So these two teams playing a lot of high-scoring games, and that is not a coincidence. You look at the pace numbers for both teams. Washington ranks first in the league in pace. Meanwhile, Indiana ranks fifth. So both these teams really play no defense and go up and down like a track meet. And I think you will see that take place once again. Now, you might be wondering, have these teams played each other? Why does this matchup seem so familiar? And that's because these teams did play on May 5th. They did play earlier this week. Total in that one was also 246 and a half. And I know you're thinking high total, you need a lot of points. Wasn't really a big issue on May 3rd because both these teams combined for 295 points with no overtime involved. So, yes, you heard that right, a total of 246 and a half, and the game still went over by about 49 points. I think that kind of speaks for itself. Now, you're looking at a situation where Washington should be back to full strength. Washington did not have Rui Hachimura for the last game against Toronto due to an illness. However, he's expected to be back in the lineup, which is important because he did have a team-high 27 points against Indiana earlier this week. Meanwhile, you do have to wonder about Indiana. Of course, Miles Turner is still out indefinitely with that toe injury. Malcolm Brogdon is still questionable. However, uh, since he had a couple of extra days to rest, there is a chance maybe Brogdon plays. So if he does, of course, that will provide a nice boost offensively for Indiana. But you also want to talk about the first meeting this season. Uh, of course, these teams play twice. I mentioned the first game, 295. First meeting did end up landing 256. So both these teams have not played a game a lower than 256, and the total is 246 and a half here, which I know sounds extremely high. It's probably not high enough in this spot. I know you can't price it at 250, but you're looking at the way that these two teams have played, the lack of defense, and the pace that these two teams play at. This game should probably get into the 250s, and I think you'll see both teams get into the mid-120s minimum. I think one of these teams, if not both, will probably get to 130. Uh, you had Washington get to 150 last time they played, and Indiana got to 140. So at the end of the day, 246.5 is still too low. I'm not sure we're going to see any over money on it uh, because it is pretty high, I and mean, people might be scared by it. But at the end of the day, this total should be higher. And for that reason, the play of the day once again here for Saturday, May 8th, is going to be on the Wizards and the Pacers over 246.5 at minus 118 on Fox Bet. Bye, everyone.